Fitplay KMD, Danny Min here, and welcome to Train Sim World. Uh, Train Sim World is a game I've played for a long time, uh, along with Train Simulator, etc. etc. I do like simulator games, uh, I love playing them, they're fantastic. But it's something I've never showcased on the channel uh, because I was going to do a separate channel and just do purely sort of sim games on that because this channel is more focused on uh, sort of tycoon games, city building, etc, etc, etc. But since we've been playing Train Life and we're taking a break from Train Life until Update 2 comes out, I thought we'd fill the gap with a bit of Train Sim World. We'll see how it gets on and if it's good then I'll, I'll leave it, I'll leave it on the channel and I may even create the second channel with just sim only sort of gameplay so before we start we're going to do the Baker Lou line and we're actually going to do the tutorial so if you've seen the tutorial a bunch of times uh, or played it yourself a bunch of times uh, then fine you don't have to watch this video I know that there is sometimes a bug uh, I've not played this Bakerloo line in months and it's been so long since I've had the tutorial. I know there is a bug with the tutorial Involving the operation of the the class 72 which we are going to be using Because that is what they use on the London tube line is the class 72. That's what their rolling stock is uh, There is an older Model 34 can't remember but uh, yeah, so there is a bug Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I've only had it once where it's worked flawlessly. The rest of the times I've, I've always had it. But I will highlight that when we get to it. Now, there is a bit of speaking in here, but because I'm familiar with the, to uh, the tutorial, I'll probably just zip through it. Now, this is a freshly installed. I uninstalled everything and started from scratch. Uh, I've not even added the TLCs that I own yet. This is simply vanilla uh, Train Sim World. Uh, and I'll add the DLC, starting with the ones that I've got, because you can spend a massive amount of cash on the DLCs for Trains and World, because they're all a lot, and they're not exactly cheap. They're roughly about 25, 20 quid each, which I don't really grudge. Uh, some of them are really good, some of them are better than others. Uh, but we'll just see. Uh, we'll see how things go. So we'll start off the tutorial. As I said, there's going to be some speaking, but I'll try and zip through this level as fast as possible. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the... Right, so he's going to speak, but we can sort of blast past this. Uh, no, let's go. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. <laughs> Those shiny leather jackets are absolutely wild. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to walk slow up the stairs because it can actually absolutely murder frame rate climbing up those stairs in sprint. It's not so bad going down them, but climbing up them is bad. Now, this poster is already done. This is one of many interactives to be discovered but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. I've actually done all the interactives around here uh, because I've done this tutorial to see if the bug was still there and uh, I, I needed to get a feel for the, the Baker Lou line again for the Class 72. It's a fairly easy train to operate although the tutorial uh, leaves somewhat to be desired because it just doesn't work. Uh, this screen in the middle should also be broken, but I've repaired that. Right, we'll ask us to sit down, which is weird. Find any seat yet. Push start, unpause, and then we can get into the driver's cab. A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, sit in the driver's seat. Right, so first of all, it is asking us to acknowledge this. No, first of all, I'm going to do this. That is going to be pressed, and that is going to bring the brake pressure back up. And then, I'm going to reset the valve. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed, 
the red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. <coughs> this is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. Okay, so that is in fact the lie. This train is not ready to go. It's not far from ready to go. So we'll have a look around. There's not much to see here in the 72. But what I did before I got in was I depressed the dead man's handle. Now the brakes are set to off and release and there's no brake pressure. The train is on a flat grade. You can see at the right hand side there it's a 0, 0.0. This piece of track is completely flat. If this had been on a grade or any sort of hill or slope, the train would roll forwards or it would roll back and the brakes would have to be applied in uh, rear static one or two or whatever. So yeah, that the train is not ready to go. Also, the left hand side door is open now you see a little red box around the zero that's saying that if you flick this into gear into running forward uh, shunt series parallel the train will not move because the doors are still open that is a safety feature that is a real world thing so there's nothing you can do about that i'm going to click this again and then hopefully right i'm just going to push it up into series this guy is going to start talking again, but I'll speak more after he's finished. The Bakerloo line runs for just 15 miles, but along that length it connects the suburbs of Harrow, the affluent districts of Maida Vale and Marlebone, and famous places such as Baker Street, Oxford Street and Piccadilly Circus. The trains that operate are the oldest on the network, taking their name from the year they were introduced. 1972 tube stop. They feature seven carriages in four plus three configuration. Congratulations. This is just the beginning of your experience. There is much more to be explored. Welcome to the London Underground. Join the ranks to keep millions of annual passengers moving between the suburbs and world famous locations throughout central London. Take to the controls of the oldest tube trains on the network and convey commuters from residential to commercial districts across the city. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, repair platform monitors, put up posters and restock newspaper dispensers. This is the Bakerloo Line. It sure is, right. So the issue that the tutorial has is that it doesn't have when you go into the next one or where you're operating the train in general is that the dead man switch does not remain depressed, right? So you go along, it tells you to ramp it straight up into parallel, which is fine. Having the train go at full speed as it's leaving the station is totally fine. You're not going to get any wheel slip or anything like that. Not in this game. Uh, it's just you need to get moving quickly. Now the problem is, is later down the line, the speed limit drops from 30 down to uh, 25 or 20. And as soon as you change down to series or try to uh, bring it down and off and release so that the train coasts, the dead man switch will then pop back up. The brakes will be applied and you'll see the brake pressure go down to zero. Now that shouldn't happen. That doesn't happen in any of the other parts of the game. It only happens there. Uh, so people have difficulty moving the train and then every time they release uh, their finger from the mouse button or if they're using a controller, it uh, 
it pops back up and the train comes to a halt and then they have to try and get the brake pressure back in order to get moving again. I don't know why it's not being fixed yet. It's really weird. You can actually throw it into parallel and have it go at 30, 35. Uh, I think 35 is like the top speed. Uh, series will give you about 25 and shunt will give you about 15. Uh, as long as you get it, even though you're speeding most of the way, as long as you get it to the end of the tutorial, it doesn't matter. You don't get any awards. There's no gold, silver or bronze for this. All you need to do to get past the tutorial is get the train moving and get it to the end. Okay, so here we are on the 72 stock introduction. This one is a bit better. Where are we? Welcome to your this first side, day okay. on the Bakerloo line of the London Underground. <laughs> Here you will be taken through a brief introduction on operating the 1972 tube stop that operate on this line. During this session, you'll be taken through the starter procedure, critical driving controls, and passenger operations at several stations. Yay! You can actually start this uh, tutorial from a different uh, a different depot. But it started, up for, uh, started us from this one, which is actually easier. Because uh, the other one you have to deal with red lights. Uh, this one you don't. Position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. I don't know how we close those doors, because there's no button or switch to close them. Right. Let's, uh, where is this? You can actually change the destination, but I can't remember where the hell this actually goes. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just jump in here. The control switch activates the train for operation. Okay, so we need to do, we need to insert the key down here. So insert key, uh, switch that to on. We need to do the key the here for the direction selector. Alright, we need to switch that to enter. Uh, we this need to set this to emergency. Set this as indicated to begin the startup procedure. Uh, emergency, there we go. Uh, we then need to set them to off and release. Off and release, there we go. Yep. Give that a little push. Uh, set this to ario one hold. There it is. Move this to forward. Off and release. And we'll just bump it into shunt one. And then we shall head out here. Very nice. Then we'll take it down. Let coast. We'll have a look outside. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. No, I don't need to add brake just yet. In fact, I'm about to go into a 30 zone, so I don't actually need to do that. Looks good from the outside, the old 73 there. Uh, right, I can actually go up to 15 here. Then we'll add a little touch of brake. We are actually going downhill. I'll try and get this lined up nicely. Uh, there we go, that's pretty perfect. Open the doors. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Yeah, we're good. Everybody's aboard. Hello me. I look very tanned today and I'm not sure what's happening with my hair. Right, jump back into the train. Once the doors are closed, we can go again. Let's set this to train off and release and let's go. The next station okay, so up to 15 here. We will perform a passenger stop. Uh, this is a downhill grade, so it will pick up speed on its own. So I'll cut it uh, roughly about 10 and it shall... It shall... Speed up on its own due to good old gravity. Suppose we can jump outside the train. There we go. Screenshot time. Looks awesome. Right. Uh, we're doing 11 miles per hour. That's fine. And we'll pick up speed as it goes down here. 
So that'll be fine. Right, we've now got a 35, so we can apply a bit more power and get going to Kilburn Park. Kilburn Park is not our final destination, though. Uh, I'm going to drop this at 30, because it's still going downhill, and it will speed up on its own. We've got a 2.1% downgrade. Oh. Gonna let coast first. I like to slow down roughly about 150. There you go, there's 150. So we'll just let it slow down here. We'll add a touch more brakes. Right. Notch two brakes there should bring us to stop roughly. Okay, notch three and notch four. Ah, it's a bit too far. Oh well, doors open. What does this look like? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm trapped. I can't get through there. Yeah, all the doors made it on, so we're good. Right, load passengers. Let's close the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to lock. Yep, I know. Right, off and release, and, and let's go to the next stop. See how you get on. Yeah, that was a bit shoddy. That one, we were a bit too far, maybe a bit too lax in the operation in the train here. Right, so this is going down, but it will level out shortly, and then once we set in the coast, it will be totally fine. It will basically run on autopilot. There we go, 0 0.1, there's 0. There we go, we'll let it coast there, will we? Now, nah, get up to 35. There's 35. Then let it coast. Right, so we're approaching this station. Speed limit is going to come down to 30 and 200 yards, but I believe that is the, the other side of the station there. How's this one looking? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. Open the doors. How good? Yeah, that's real good. Hello, people. Get on the train. <clears throat> right, jump back in. We'll close the doors, and that should be it. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. So that was easy. This tutorial, the second one, runs way better than uh, the first one, uh, I must say. Uh, it's so much better and easier. The dead man's handle actually stays in place so the brakes do not apply every time you try to move the, uh, the accelerator, brake, whatever you want to call it. And it just, it just works. It's so much better. The first one, if the first one was like that, no one would have any issue. But we'll leave it there for that episode. We're just going to do the first two tutorials in this little episode and then we'll jump into the first line. We'll do that. We'll jump into the next. And uh, after we've done all the, the tube lines, we'll do a run on the uh, Sandpads grade or the, the German railways, which I've completely forgotten. The something ban. Can't remember. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this first little episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave, you like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Min, this has been Train Sim World, and I will catch you later.